Hello, amazing ones. How's everybody doing today? Good, good. I'm doing well too. I am a little sad today. Because today is my last lesson. And I'm trying not to cry. But I am crying already. And if I wait to stop crying, I will never stop. So, we're going to deal with it. Okay? <laughs> I miss you. I love you. And that is not how we plan to finish this year. But we're going to finish strong. Okay? And finish strong and believe that God has bigger plans than our little minds can even think about it. Okay? Do you believe in him? I do. But I miss you anyways. So, we're going to go to our last... Woo! Last math class of the year. Can you imagine? I can't even believe it. Okay, my loves. So for the last one, we're gonna work on this paper together. I'm gonna try to control myself. <laughs> okay, let's do it. We are gonna work today on a page 145. But we're going to work together on this one, okay? 145, 145. Got it? I need you to write your name. Beautifully done. Inside the lines. Good. Okay, my loves. Number one says color one half of each shape. So all these shapes are, um, there is a line that divides them in a half. So we're gonna call it one half. That means you're gonna color just one side of these pictures. That is two sides because that's a line. We share them in a half. And I need you to color one side, okay? And each shape, there is one color. You, in your papers, you can see better from here. For sure you can't, but this one is brown, and then it comes red and green, and then I think it's purple. Yeah, purple, blue, and then orange. So you're gonna grab these colors. You can color with the crayons, you can color with colored pencils, you can color with markers. Okay, go for it. Okay, my loves. Then I'm gonna explain the whole paper. If you need to pause, you can pause. Okay. Number two says, listen as your teacher reads the story problem. We did this three days in a row, four days in a row, so you know what to do, okay? So if you're working on number one still, I need you to pause the video and wait and finish first, and then you're gonna move forward to the second one with me, okay? You can come back, it's fine, take your time. Number two, uh, the problem says, the story problem says, Liz, her name is Liz. Say hi, Liz. <laughs> hi, Liz. Liz picked three daisies. Do you know what daisies are? Daisies are little flowers, these white flowers. Let me see in the picture there. So she picked three daisies for mom and four daisies for grandma. So it was three daisies for mom and for four daisies for grandma. As it's not a test, it can help with this one. So three for mom, so number three goes first on this first box, and four for grandma. Then I'm gonna write number four there. Three plus four equals? Three plus four, okay, five, you know this. Yes, yeah, seven, so write number seven here, and write number seven on the top too, okay? And I hope we got this right yesterday on the test. Then you're gonna flip it over, and on the back side, on the back side, we are gonna add. So do your math, and write your answer for me, please, the combinations. And, oh, look at that. You need to wait for me, okay? Can you wait for me a second? I need something. Can you? Quick, we are back.
I told you it was quick. Sorry. Sorry about that, my wonderful ones. I forgot the book, and I need the book to tell you because the back side says, write the answers to the combinations your teacher said. So I need my book to tell the combinations. See, let me just little chill. And I forgot. Are you ready? Number three says, write the answers to the combinations. So my, the combinations are, I'm gonna say the combinations. The only answer that you're getting here is the, uh, the how much is the combination, okay? You're not gonna write the whole combination, just the answer. So the first one, the first frog is two plus two. What is two plus two? Good job, four. So write number four for me. Great, next. Eight plus one. Every time you're writing one, all you do is a couple more, yes. So write the answer. Nine, good. Then three plus two. Good, five. And five minus five. When you're taking away, you have five candies and mom takes away five candies from you. For, from you. Zero, very good job, awesome. Okay, now it says complete the calendar. Remember you did this a while ago? Yeah. Your teacher will tell you where to begin. So we're in June now, today is June 3rd. No, just kidding. June 9th. Today is June 9th, yes, June 9th. I'm lost in time. So today is June 9th, but the month of June is started on Monday, on Monday. So we're gonna start on Monday, the first Monday, and we're gonna write one, two, three, four, five, six, then seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and keep it going to 30. Good? Sounds good? Awesome. And then you're done with this paper.